last 72 hours have been the craziest of my life. Biggest YouTuber of all time, Mr. Beast. Because some of the things we pulled off, an interview with Mr. Beast. Was there a shoot that was most stressful for you, Jimmy? We're in for a wild ride the next couple of years. It's actually getting like a million views an hour right now. And having a chance to interview Dude Perfect when they never give interviews. Are you guys trying to create the next Disney World? It's just so much work to pull something like that off. Actually, I haven't told anybody. I don't, don't think I'm going to get in trouble. And giving my own keynote to 3,000 people, standing room only. And, and it was our first business trip away from our little girl. These past 72 hours, I honestly think they'll change the rest of my life. And it all started in Dallas with a phone call. Listen, John, we need your help. Mr. Beast had a schedule change, and we need someone to interview him on the main stage at Vid Summit tomorrow. Can you do it? So obviously I said yes, and I stayed up all night preparing because I've learned you just say yes in those moments and figure it out later. Then the next morning, the crowd was going crazy, and so was I backstage. I was finishing my notes when in walks the world's biggest YouTuber. Good looking, guys. Look at you, man. How are we what doing? up, boys? It's like uh, I just yeah. see your email. Hey, All right, what you got, bro? You want to take a look? You're a pop seat. Perfect. How much longer until I go up? Uh, we have five. All right, hit me. So I thought, like, bringing it back to the audience, like, I'll ask everyone a quick question. Like, how many of you guys struggle coming up with good ideas, right? Yeah. Like, everyone's hand will go up. I want to talk about what's your process of coming up with ideas at Beast. The premise of this is like, I I gave you access to my team. Was there was there a shoot that was most stressful for you, Jimmy? Every video. Every video. I mean, even the ones that are fun, it's still like, oh, we got to film a bunch of houses or a bunch of cars. You know, you, they're all over the world, so it's got to be filmed in five days so we yeah. can move on to the next video. So well, it's basically nonstop flying for five days. And, and then I thought it'd be really fun if, you know, like, you roast one of your past videos. Okay. And I got this one from your team in terms of a good one that you could have a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> one slide that would be cool then is like all our thumbnail iterations. I know you have one there, but like all the ones we've been A-B testing, it'd be cool to show them oh. what we've through A-B testing. Yes. No, leave it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just organizing it to put it before <laughs> short form. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great idea. Okay, delete that, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many days a month are you filming right now and what happens on a shoot day? I feel like people love examples. What's a recent disagreement you guys have had and what was the outcome? I mean, I'm not quite sure. It's a little scary. We're in for a wild ride the next couple of years. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Let's rock and roll, baby. I feel like I've been preparing for this interview for years. I did in a day. <laughs> and then I did in a day. of all time, Mr. Beast. And John, give him a round of applause as well. <laughs> I've been harassing his entire ideas team for the past 24 hours. Uh, I've been getting visuals for all, because I don't know if you guys are visual learners. I feel like I have to see something. Love it. To be able to dive in. But I wanted to start off with this. This is a storyboard visual from a video you have coming up. Just take me through, when did you first see this visual? How do you guys put this together before you decide to approve an idea? If someone doesn't click your video, they're not gonna watch it. So it, it seems silly to, uh, for us, invest months and millions of dollars filming a video if we don't even know what the thumbnail and title is gonna be. So the fundamentals for us is, you know, we have a full-time sketch artist. It's like, before I even put an idea on the calendar, we sketch out what the thumbnail will be like. This helps make sure what I'm envisioning isn't just dumb. You know. So I think not everybody has illustrators or storyboard artists. I was talking to your team. You have 12 people on your thumbnail. I mean, thumbnail. we used to draw it with like stick figures, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just to make sure the framing's good. <laughs> Speaking of stick figures, here's oh, another visual oh, I got. Oh. Take me through what's going on here. It seems like there's a reference image from the Apple TV yeah. show Severance. And there's a stick figure drawing. One of my thumbnail guys, Chucky, watched Severance. And one of the opening shots is that uh, image in the top middle. He's like, we should do this for a thumbnail. And I was like... What does that even mean? And he sent me that Snapchat with a circle and a human. And I was even more confused, the image in the top right. And I was like, Chucky, I, I don't know. Maybe you're drinking alcohol, even though he doesn't. Um, and, uh, and somehow that led to this thumbnail we ended up doing here in the bottom right, which actually worked pretty well. And it was kind of nice because usually my thumbnails have my face and the left side. Uh, and I've been looking for ways to not have every thumbnail be the exact same. That was a good breakaway that people seem to like. You can draw inspiration from anywhere. It's not like we got that from a different YouTube thumbnail. Like he was literally just watching Severance, <laughs> you know? I think another thing that... Oh, they shared a lot with you. <laughs> uh, so people yeah, were we talking made, about this. We, uh, YouTube has this new uh, A-B testing beta where you can A-B test thumbnails. And so we went through all of my videos and closed my mouth. Every single thumbnail 
my closed mouth performs way better than my open mouth. If you take one thing away from here, <laughs> close your mouth and your thumbnails. It consistently just destroys the open mouth. Did they share other ones with you? Yeah. Take yeah. me through, what is this that we're looking at here, Jimmy? These weren't A-B tests. Some of the first ones are kind of terrible, but it just shows all the different ones we went through until we landed on the, the one we ended up uploading. Help me roast the earlier versions. like Because I think for you, maybe it's intuitive, like how you got from point A to B. Like, What are yeah. some of those most obvious changes? Well, the top middle one, you know, in, in theory, your gut would be like, having six Lamborghinis looks cool. Yeah. But then it's like hard to process it and you can't see it. I'm a big fan of simplicity. Just get it across where they instantly understand it. And mm -hmm. so like, to me, one big Lamborghini in the middle, which obviously is what we went with, so much better than like a driveway covered in Lamborghinis because yeah. it's not, it's so much harder to process. I like to like just make it where your brain could be off and you don't have to think. You get it, click. You know what I mean? Totally. How many shoot days do you have per month? And what does a shoot day look like for a Mr. Beast main channel video? The past few months, I've just been filming like 25, 28 days a month. The only thing I can't do is outsource filming. You know what yeah, I mean? I can yeah. have people help me with everything else and get it where it's pretty low lift and make it where it's not as hard. My goal for like the last seven years is to get it where most of my time is spent filming and not doing other stuff. We've finally kind of gotten to that point where I've gotten good enough people around me where, you know, instead of having to brainstorm stuff for 10 hours, they can kind of do a lot of legwork and then I just pick what I think would be best. Like I'm about to go bury myself alive for a week. So I'll just, <laughs> those days will just be laying in a coffin. You know what I mean? If you had zero dollars, what yeah. videos would you make right now? I counted to a hundred thousand and that did well. No one ever counted to a million, which would take 40 days. I, I mean, that would be fun to like, if I, you know, it wouldn't be fun, but it'd be like cool to push myself and do, and that wouldn't cost anything. I mean, I just have a whole bunch of random ideas. Like, like if I did a marathon backwards or something, or somehow, it somehow didn't come in last place, that'd be pretty funny. I wanted to close with this. I drew a cartoon for you. I have a cartoon newsletter, and I think so many people are chasing the 1 million, the 10 million, the 100 million, and I think you're chasing constant improvement. What's a final tip that you could give us or some way that you're looking to improve as a creator? This is a, a long journey. You know, I've been doing this for almost 14 years now. I wouldn't focus on, which I, I did this as well. I was like, I want 10 million subscribers. I want 100 million. I want this. But in reality, those are kind of just vanity metrics. And what you want is you want to just consistently improve making better videos. And as long as your videos over time are getting better, it's very hard for more people not to watch them and for the people who were watching before to keep watching. And if I could just say, man, on a personal note, like I'm, I'm the kid of immigrants. I used to have a cushy corporate job and I left that before my wife and I had our first baby recently. And now we have a YouTube channel that's supporting us. And to be able to talk to my parents and explain, hey, look at what that guy is doing in North Carolina has been so inspiring, Jimmy. So thank you for just raising the bar for all of us. And I think thank you for using all of what you're doing for good. Give it up for Jimmy. I don't know, I don't, I don't have the words to describe how well that went, how many of you guys came up to me afterwards. But I couldn't exactly relax because I had to prepare to give my own speech the next day to the biggest crowd I had ever seen. And I'll never forget that moment where I saw my business partner, my manager, my wife, Amanda, come on stage because she's such a big part of this story. So give it up for Amanda. She's like my Kris Jenner. And being away from our newborn, we had to cram so much into this trip. So we also filmed three episodes for our podcast before we almost missed our flight to interview Dude Perfect. Amanda. After any of this like energy before, just uh, uh, okay, let's get up. This looks incredible. Thank you. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? I, I, I can't even get my words right. Uh, you know what's funny? I sometimes prepare for interviews I don't have yet because I'm like, I'm going to manifest it. Hell yeah. Okay, here we are. We're five minutes away. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good to see you. I really thought we were just like going to be in the corner of like a gym. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole mind. This is no, different no, than I was expecting. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Good to see you, man. How are you? Good. Good. Now, what the dudes didn't know is that we built the entire set for this interview in less than eight hours to look like the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we, we pulled all of this off. Trying to find people on the ground, trying to find a studio. We did. 
Hey guys, I just wanna take you behind the scenes of editing this video because it is taking so long and you can see Drew from my team as well as Ravello, my dog, AKA our team mascot. But you'll know that as a creator, I have very little time to do much else besides editing and filming and that includes making websites. So I have to thank our sponsors today, Biosites. Biosites is a new link and bio tool from Squarespace so you could do so much. You can see mine here. You could put all your videos in one place and customize it so you'll be able to see the full Mr. Beast interview when it drops as well as a Dude Perfect interview which you're about to see a snippet of. You'll also be able to get advanced analytics to get deeper insights into your clicks and views. You can also add other things like your email newsletter so you'll be able to join my cartoon newsletter right there. And just best of all, it's beautifully designed. You'll get templates, you'll get fonts, you'll get backgrounds to do so much with it. So check out the link in the description or go to biosites.com slash John. And now back to the video. I thought I'd open up by asking about the 60 million subscribers. Cause that, that number is so big, like I, I can't even grapple with it. And I thought I'd do a little fun little experiment, highly scientific. Uh -oh. I went to the streets of Hollywood okay. and I asked people who's more popular. The Beatles or Dude Perfect? Oh, I love the Beatles. All right. Hopefully. So, I mean, this is, I, I feel like every person is going to answer the Beatles, but <laughs> I could be wrong. If we it, get one person, that'd be incredible. Ready? Yeah. Who are these two groups? Dude Perfect, obviously. I don't know who those people are. <laughs> <laughs> Dude Perfect? I don't know. I, I don't know. Are the Beatles? You're joking. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. NSYNC? NSYNC? <laughs> I'll take it. Are the Beatles? <laughs> obviously the Beatles. And then Dude Perfect. Uh, yeah, do perfect. I refuse to believe it. Like, I don't get the Beatles. I think they're all hype. That's the Beatles. And I don't know. They look like some people off of True TV. <laughs> True TV. Oh, I'm going to go. Wow. I, I mean, man, we got compared to NSYNC. I'll take, I'll take all those. All True T I'll take a True TV show. As you guys are going, uploading more videos in college, I feel like graduation is the moment of truth. How close did you come to quitting Do Perfect? We had a couple of moments during school where there was an actual like business opportunity that came up through it. The very first uh, time we were pitched by a company to be involved in anything was GMC. And we're just thinking we're way in over our heads. And on the second try, Ty drops it out of the airplane and drains it. And that was our very first experience in doing something for any type of big company. Mm -hmm. And so that ended up going on the NBA Finals as a TV commercial and the World Cup. And that was our first like big commercial thing that we had been a part of. How much did and they so pay? That, that was, 60, we got paid, we got paid 60 grand. For and there were six of us Three at the time. YouTube videos, an NBA Finals commercial, a World Cup commercial, and then I guess posting on Facebook. It, it was like funny that. because at the time we actually thought that we won. We were like, yeah. dude, we just we had got that same reaction, but we the other got, side. We were like, oh we my god, we got the sixty grand. Well, you're in college. Yeah. I mean, we were ecstatic, and obviously yeah. they gave us the ability to do something we would never have had a chance to try. Yeah. So it's of course it's all relative. But you guys still kept your jobs after that. Yeah. You know, and I I heard a specific story. I was doing my research. You guys did this video, the basketball shot from a Goodyear blimp. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got a call from your boss. Yeah. Yep. And you were still working your day job. Like, what was that phone call about? So it was uh, it was another video that we basically told a brand that all we had that was a weekend to work because we were all doing our other stuff and we would just be like, yeah, you know, we're so busy with speaking engagements and stuff during the week. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna have to be on a Saturday. And they're like, really? Like, uh, yeah. okay, I guess we could be out there on a oh, Saturday. Oh, they didn't realize you had day jobs. Yeah, and they, no, had, no they had no idea. Oh, and wow. so uh, I was like, all right, guys, we got just this weekend to, to knock this thing out. Let's do it, get paid, and then we'll be going home. And so I go out there, I try it all day, never get the shot. And we're like, this is kind of the first time we've gotten into a situation like, okay, so this brand paid us to come out here. We didn't really deliver on a video. So how does this work? And so then Garrett went up there and it was funny, the first time he got up there, <laughs> you know, we have like a bag of like 20 balls in the blimp. And you're usually trying to make it look like it was early on in the process. Like we never were like, yeah, we make it on the first try all the time, but you don't want like a bunch of balls <laughs> landing next to the goal and seeing them in the shot. Right. And so Gare gets up in the blimp and he's like, this is a good year blimp shot. <laughs> and there's like six balls falling in the air at the same time, like slow down, <laughs> you can't have that many in the air. And so he ended up making it and it was the highest we were ever on SportsCenter, not top two. Yeah, number number two on the top 10. Big moment. Wow. Um, but yeah, my boss was like, hey, um, and this, there was a few of these, but he's like, I can't have you miss. I need you out there on Saturdays at, at the office working. So six days a week and I was like, and that really kind of made the decision for us. We were like, I don't, I don't know how this is going to continue to go on doing Saturdays. And at that time, I remember um, we weren't making near as much on Dude Perfect as we were at our full-time jobs, which I was making $40,000 a year at a landscaping company. But I was like, 
Yeah, but even if we make half of that, it's like way more fun mm -hmm. and we're enjoying it. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. It feels like Dude Perfect is becoming more than Dude Perfect in the same way that Disney is becoming more than just Walt. That $100 million Dude Perfect world made a ton of headlines. Um, are you guys trying to create the next Disney World? I think it's been cool to see, you know, on YouTube, you, your feedback is comments and analytics. And then when we went out on tour for the first time, we, we, we really hadn't done a whole lot of like meet and greets and being in Texas, like we're a little bit isolated. So to go on tour and see our fans for the first time in person and through the VIP lines and see the families together. And you know, the organizations like Make-A-Wish who we've been so fortunate to partner with and see those kids and just the impact that we have been able to have uh, uh, in a small part um, on them and their families was so meaningful to us to see in person. And I think the destination is just uh, a further um, evolution of that and being able to provide that for families again to come together and experience that and to be able to do it in a physical destination is kind of that next level. I don't know, in my wildest dreams, I couldn't have imagined the past 72 hours going the way that they did. But it was the final hour where everything came full circle. Because right after the interview, I got to speak at the University of Arkansas with a bunch of students about making a career on YouTube, along with the one and only Danny Duncan. And as I saw those students with all their dreams, I thought about when I was their age, making my first YouTube videos, not even realizing that this was a career. And I thought about what my daughter may dream about as she gets older. And I hope whatever it is that she'll say yes to opportunities that scare her a little too and just trust that she'll figure it out just like her crazy parents did on this trip. Because you never know when life will give you those opportunities back to back to back. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been on this journey. And uh, attention to the terminal. This okay, is final board I call. Oh my god. 4894 to Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> you know what mommy and daddy missed you, huh? <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. We missed you so much. We missed you so much. You know that? <laughs> <laughs>